of Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime. Headed out from Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to ride and steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. This is all about metal ores. Yeah. So, all that yeah, stuff. let's leave Cooler Trailer with that one. But we'll bring, bring this down. one down. I'll go down there and see what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. It's going to follow you down. Okay. Once we get out in the current, we'll pull all the boats together and float along and get ourselves all situated. Can you fit four? Yeah? Yeah, we could give the justice to someone else. Why don't you guys just look at the water and you can put it back? Oh, yeah. There's not very many opportunities where you get to go and be in the desert for a week on a river with like-minded people that are willing to have really interesting conversations about the environment around us and the implications that has. It allows you to open your mind to different experiences and conversations that may not happen elsewhere. You gain a perspective of this place that to us is a trip down the river. We can escape it at any point that we need, but for thousands of years it's an environment that was an entire lifestyle for a whole community of people. Rivers are special because they connect people to the outdoors. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's a light coming through us? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're powerful. They are kind of like a beacon of life, almost. You like kind of look at the river and you expand out. You just see like the riparian corridor is just like a hot spot of life. 
in a place that would not offer it otherwise. I'm gonna go underneath his belt. <laughs> go under the boat. I don't know about that one. Go under the boat. <laughs> Later, alligator. <laughs> when you're out in the field, it's a lot easier to like think about things that you're actually seeing and hands on and experiencing at the time. Um, and it just like, I don't know, I feel like being out here, you know, I don't have, I haven't looked at my phone in like five days. So it's just so much more entertaining um, to really talk about all these complex issues. Well, when you're when you're outside and amongst the things that you're learning about, you get to see along with learn everything that that's around you, and it's it's really interesting. And being out here, being in nature, kind of calms me down, but also it's 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 incredibly immersive and and educational within itself. Uh, one of the things I like about it is you can kind of create more of a relationship with your peers and with your professors. Um, in a classroom, you may not know your professors as well as you get to out here because we're cooking with them, we're pooping in the same bucket as them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's cool. <laughs> I had so many classes with Bridget and I never even talked to her. Like, what the hell? And it just like gets me so excited to do more experiences like this where we're kind of forced to get to know each other. We had so many, like we had three classes lost <laughs> together last semester, never talked to each other, like small classes too. And like, it's been really rad. Like, didn't know Teddy. Like, it's just been great meeting people. <laughs> like, we love Teddy. <laughs> um. You start to build your own connection with like nature and the environments around you. And so, at least for me personally, like the river has a presence because like the water's so powerful and it's like it's carrying you and everything you need to survive for a week in a desolate place. And then the towering canyon walls. You kind of get an idea of um, that there's just more out there besides us. <laughs> it's likely the light of mine will burn out in the mountains where I spend my rambling years. I paid my sins from the poor traveling days. Oh Lord, please, can't you hear my prayers? So I rode my body up the mountain to a place where I can sit my rocking chair. Rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back again. I swear. Most likely the son of mine will be found in the mountains where I'm born and raised. I paid my duty, it's the sunny side cutie. Oh Lord, hear the sorrow in my heart. So I rode my body up the mountain. Sit in my rocking chair. I rode my 
my buddy, up the mountain. 